For years, local officials have been trying to find a solution for affordable housing and a way for new homeowners to find something they'll fall in love with. The new solution could be an automated factory that designs and builds modular homes. KREX 5's Chance Stickland spoke with an investor who's trying to turn the Western Slope housing crisis upside down. He's in this studio with more details. Chance. Rob Jocelyn, a group of investors recently acquired 177 acres just south of Community Hospital. If built, the new facility could build and produce hundreds of new apartments, something that could ease the financial burden of locals wanting to be new homeowners. The largest, fastest indoor manufacturing facility in the United States, and we plan on building it um, next to the Community Hospital in Grand Junction. Big changes in affordable housing could soon take Mesa County by storm. A group of investors spearheaded in large part by realtor and developer Ted Steers plans to build a state-of-the-art new factory here to build apartments. But it's not just any factory and it's not just any apartments. It is something that specializes in multi-story buildings. Um, you know, between three and five stories, um, we can build them 50% faster than any other process of building an apartment building. Yeah. Software and robotics will drive the process to build factory-made apartments. In some cases, it shaves 20% off production costs, something Diana Schwanke with the Chamber of Commerce thinks will benefit those interested in the computer technology field. We kind of hit the trifecta with this project in terms of the number of new jobs, um, well-paying jobs in the trades, um, and also in kind of some of the computer technology that will be needed to actually um, run the machines in this facility. The state regulates modular housing, saving time and money on site. Steers believes Grand Junction is an ideal spot because of distribution, workforce, and one more thing. Bring the facility to a city that can really support it through an abundance of young people, a w hard work ethic, and a technical operational background. The manufacturing facility will cost $48 million. $38 million of that amount is already secure. For the rest, investors are welcome. I would like a lot of local support. You know, Grand Junction is full of uh, business people that want to invest locally. Of the 177 acquired acres, the factory will consume 16. As for the rest? We have a plan to build 308 apartments. Um, just to the west of the hospital and then another site i have 15 acres scheduled to build 200 townhomes once the remaining funds are secured steer says construction could start within 60 days another interesting detail steers and his investment group already run similar factories in two other states steers claims investors could expect a 25 to 30 percent return on their investment if building starts this summer as planned, new apartments and townhomes could be ready to go by next year. For more information, just visit our website, westernslopenow.com. Reporting in the studio and first on the Western Slope, I'm Chance Thicklin, CARIX 5 News. Rob Jocelyn.